Nigeria Police Broadcasting Service. I am Harun Amarugos, your uncle. Today on the program, we shall be discussing the impact of media outfit in policing the nation. The Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ibrahim K. Idris, MPM, MNI, in a bid to strengthen the relationship between the Nigerian police and the general public, establish the Nigerian Police Broadcasting Service. Our guests shall be discussing the impact of media in enhancing national security. Don't go away. We'll be back shortly after this time out. Establishment of the NPPS is a project that is long overdue. We all live and function in the world based on communication. Through communications, we bridge our islands of loneliness, and through communication, societies are formed. The Nigerian police force has been subjected to the most vitriolic of attacks, their reputation impugned, and there is a need for us to change the narrative. No people, no group of Nigerians have suffered more for the unity and progress of this nation and the Nigerian police force. Under the most inhospitable of crimes, with very limited motivation, you can find police force in the remotest corners of this country. So the emergence of NTBS, as I said, is a welcome development. We we'll need to change the narrative. We need to make the world to realize that there are decent honest, committed, professional policemen in the Nigerian police force. And this time around with the NPPS, the police are telling their own stories. We'll support you robustly with our own platforms. That barrier, there's an invisible barrier today between the police and the people. That barrier must be broken. One of the best ways to break that barrier is by your, the police, uh, the police broadcasting service, where you can let them know that policemen are just human beings like you, but they are human beings that are taking extraordinary, you know, risks on behalf of uh, the common man. We can say that uh, they introduced a number of uh, innovations, sensitization of members of the public, uh, the community police uh, relation which he initiated and he almost, uh, I mean, institutionalized. And uh, even the inf dissemination of information, like the creation of the new uh, outfit in order to enlighten members of the public, like what we are doing now. It's uh, a very, very positive way forward. Mm, because, um, yeah, police are actually been using other media, but now having their own broadcasting cooperation, it will go a long way to reaching uh, the targeted objectives, you know, sort of um, um, audience that they need to uh, communicate with, or collecting information from people also, because uh, with this uh, organization, uh, uh, the organization will be able to go into the grassroots, you know, down to the grassroots and find out how police is operating, and then what are the areas police need to improve upon, given the you know, inadequacy of. Uh, uh, equipment and uh, manpower. So, and then also the information will even reach the police faster to this uh, organization. Why? Because if there's any information that somebody needs to pass, you know, can easily call on this uh, organization. Or if there's any incident that required to be covered, you know, immediately, rather than going to you know, NTO or, or another organization to pay uh, money. I uh, can use the uh, police cooperation to, you know, to disseminate and uh, quickly. Uh, the cooperation will uh, take uh, that uh, role and then broadcast it. Okay? So it's a very positive uh, way forward for police to come closer to the public, and the public to have access to 
police um, services. We have come to the end of today's edition. Thank you so much for being part of our program. Hook up with us next week, same time, same station, for another interesting package. And always remember, security is our collective responsibility. When you see something, say something. Stay out of trouble. Thank you.